But hey, look at the bright side. I can finally reach the suck myself. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I guess you can do that. Good evening. This is the Line of Legend. And tonight we're getting into Better Half. Developed by Nimli. If you're familiar with the Coffin of Vanity and Lily, this is a previous project, however. So, let's hop into it and see exactly uh, what kind of historical work we're hopping into. One awfully awful evening. A sad young man sits his sorry ass down in a mysterious shop. He is our hero, Theo, which I hope I said that right. And out of Theo's mouth comes this asinine plea. Can you take my pain away, Miss Mage? What do you mean? I'm just so tired. Try sleeping. No, not like that. I really am at the end of my wits here. My happiest thoughts this month was, thank God everyone dies eventually. Nice. That's my happiest thought too. Huh? Anyway, the only magic potion you need is tequila. Wh what? Sorrows be gone. Guaranteed. Please, Miss Mage. I don't want to be an alcoholic. I just want to be me again. Or the meals before I became this miserable shell of a man. Sorry, friend. I can't help you. Mind spells are prohibited. But I know a therapist too. Ah, forget it. Wasn't there another mage around here? No, wait. You don't want to get involved with him. That guy has no morals or care for anyone's well-being. Oh? Trust me, he is called the jerk face. By me. And it's never ended well for anyone who has asked for his help. Besides, he still owes me like a hundred bucks. Hmm. Anyway, he'll just screw you over. But try the pharmacist though. She sells coke under the table. Okay. Thank you. I should get going. Seriously, don't involve yourself with that douchebag. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Daft as he is, few figures drugs won't make his depression any better. Except serotonin, which he takes every day along with some quetiapine. But I digress. The point is that Thieu is looking for an instant and permanent cure. Where is this jerk face? I heard he doesn't have a shop. He just makes spells at home. Let's uh, try downtown. So Thieu wanders downtown. He has no idea what exactly he is supposed to be looking for. A big neon sign that reads, Illegal spell here. Would be nice, but alas, no such luck. Oh, what did I think was going to happen? I'll never find the guy like this. Screw this, I'm such a moron. I'm just gonna buy myself some soda and go home. Theo would stuff quarters into the vending machine, but a sticker is blocking the coin slot. Ugh, can I even have this? The sticker reads, my awesome spells. Your sorry life. Just ask. It also has an address written on it with such tiny, tiny letters. Whatever, I'll check it out. If I get mugged or killed, then that's what the universe wants. Who cares? I'm worthless anyway. While Thieu is busy berating himself, Another man is drinking coffee at home. Or he would be drinking it, if it didn't taste like death. Ugh, where'd you get these coffee grounds from? Our bio waste. What? Then what happened to the money I gave you? Dude, check this out. The little lady pulls a bouncy ball out of her pocket. Isn't this the coolest thing ever? Oh, a guest. 
Look at it. Well, hello, hello. How can I help you? Who is it? Piss off, doll. Fine. I don't care anyway. I was asking just to be nice. I told you to get lost. Screw you. Ahem. Let's try this again. <laughs> How can I help you, my friend? H hi Uh... M my name is Theo. Dumbest name I've ever heard. Are you, perhaps, the jerk face? A certain someone calls me that, yes? But you should call me Lua. Come on in. You're just in time for some coffee. Here, have some. Oh, thank you. He says, while in reality the last thing he wants is coffee. It's already past nine, and Theo has a hard enough time getting to sleep as it is. But, social awkwardness dictates he accepts it anyway, or risk offending the man who called his name dumb. Yeah, we can't have that. And what brings you here, Theo? Surely you know I'm a big bad miracle maker who ruins people's lives for a living. Or so I've heard myself described. Jealousy is such an ugly thing, isn't it? I'm really, a really nice man, you know? Really. Um, well... I was hoping you'd have a spell for me. Theo feels like his request is dumb and embarrassing, which it is. So he figures this is a great moment to sip down the whole coffee in one gulp, to postpone speaking. Big mistake. The foulest coffee Theo has ever tasted washes over his taste buds. <laughs> you like it? Don't spit. Don't spit. That's rude. Don't spit. Don't... It's my sister's special blend. Theo uses sheer willpower to swallow the damn thing down. There is no way in hell Lua didn't notice how much she hated every drop. It, it's got character. Aww, glad you like it. Here, want another cup? Absolutely not. Tell him nicely. Uh, say something like, like... No thank you. But, that sounds so harsh. Is it too harsh? I bet it's too harsh. Ugh, I'm taking too long. Uh, say something now. Y yes please, another cup would be nice. Why? I'm so glad to hear it. <laughs> God, why am I like this? Theo can do nothing but curse his life, as Lua refills his cup. Coming here was a bad idea. So, what kind of spell were you looking for? Well, um... I'm about this close to killing myself. Hmm, I see. So you need some help with that. I suggest the rope. It's a classic. N no No? Well, if you want to get fancy, we can... No! I want to get rid of these feelings, not myself. The hopelessness and such. Ugh, boring. But sure, I might have something. The really nice man excuses himself to go looking for a book. Theo takes his chance to pour his coffee into the nearest potted plant. Lua returns flipping through a big, weathered-down book. It's got coffee stains all over it. Now, before we proceed, there's a the issue of your payment. It's not my soul or something, right? <laughs> the hell would I do with that? It's cash or credit. Oh, how much? Ah, here's something. Lewis slams the tome onto the table. A splitting spell. It divides your existence in two. You can put all the negatives in one half and keep the good stuff. Oh? It has come with the minor inconvenience of cutting your life force in half, too. But hey, 
Aren't you gonna kick the bucket anyway? Well, sound good. Theo recalls the words of Miss Mage. It's never ended well for anyone who's asked for his help. Fuck it, why not? Wonderful! By the way, your soul's mine now. Huh? And just like that, a spell wraps around Theo's body, lifting him up in the air. He struggles to get loose, but only manages to turn himself upside down. So now not only is he floating in midair, but blood begins rushing to his head. Great. Wait, 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 wait. What? I, I thought it's cash or credit. I don't know, I changed my mind. Plus, you look kind of poor, so I figured you'd be thankful. No, wait, I can take a quick loan or something. Shut up and let's get this over with. And with that, Lua yanks the floating loser by the hair and pulls him in for a kiss. It'd be so romantic if it weren't for the fact that it wasn't romantic at all. Theo's soul gets pulled out of his body via his mouth like a long, chewy marshmallow. And just as he figures he's going to choke on it, he passes out. But he didn't pass out from lack of oxygen. It's just that his soul has left his body. And with no brain for it to think with, it simply stopped doing that. Lua chops the soul in half, and now it pours all kinds of crap. And by crap, I mean Theo's feelings and thoughts materialized as weird magical stuff. Luckily, Lua is an expert in weird magical stuff, and he shoves the happy things in one half, and all the gross, sad things into the other. Then he sews both halves shut, creating two smaller marshmallowy souls. The larger one quickly turns dark and murky and moldy, while the tiny one looks like it might actually be tasty. Lua shoves both souls right back into Theo's mouth, and that's when the pain starts. Oh boy, does the pain start. With two emerging consciousness arguing over who gets to inhibit with this lousy excuse of a body, Theo feels torn in half. Did I say feels? I mean he was actually physically being torn in half. All the while, his organs attempt to grow larger to accommodate two souls. Extra fingers start pushing out of his hand while a brand new skull emerges out of Theo's left eye. While all this is happening, a little lady walks into the kitchen. What's all this noise? Oh, hey Tal. I'm splitting this guy in two. Wanna watch? It doesn't look right. Have you done this before? Nope, first time. Oh my god. Who's gonna clean this up? I believe it's your turn. Before they can start arguing over it, a sickening noise fills the room. And Theo successfully splits himself in two. Both existences hit the floor unconscious. Aha, it's done. I'm such a genius. Tal, go buy some premium coffee. I want to celebrate. Why do I always have to? There's barely any stores even open at this hour. Listen, you little princess. You can either go buy me coffee or clean up my spell. Ugh, fine. Lua hands Tal some money, and she proceeds to go buy another bouncy ball. The next time Theo opens his eyes, he feels like he's been hit with a truck. The sun is already high up in the sky, so it must be midday. Not that he cares. He has never felt this awful his entire life. Ugh, where am I? Hey, you're awake. Ah, uh, who are you? You slept around the clock. <laughs> That's not what I asked. Hey, Lua, he woke up. Ugh, that's right. I bought a spell from the jerk face. Well, hello there. Yeah, that jerk face right there. I can't believe he just left me on the floor. How long was I out? The girl said around the clock, so, uh... How are you feeling? Like shit. I feel worse than ever. 
Your spell didn't do crap. Wrong. My spell was perfect. It's just that you're the miserable half. Wh huh? I told you, didn't I? I split your existence and dumped all the negativity in one half. Congratulations, you're that half. You're kidding, right? Balua was not kidding. Come, let's go meet the lucky one. He's an early bird, unlike you. Theu follows Lua to another room, miserable and terrified. He's not so sure he wants to meet the other half. He considers walking out and pretending none of this has ever happened. But then... <laughs> a warm laughter echoes from the other room. Theu peeks to see who it is. Why is your drawing so much better than mine? <laughs> Because I cheated. My eyes weren't actually closed. <laughs> oh, such nerve. <laughs> Aw, look how happy you are. Worth it, wasn't it? Ah, it's me. Wow, that's super weird. It's like a 3D mirror. No, what am I saying? <laughs> are mirrors 3D too? No, wait. I mean, they are flat surfaces, so, uh. I want this spell undone. Huh? Now, now. You agree to this. Y yeah, yeah. Besides, I haven't decided what to do with you yet. Since I own your life. Lives? I thought it was my soul. It's lives now. The details of our deal just keeps changing, huh? Indeed. Oh, if only you had it in writing, my friend. You're learning so much today. <laughs> Tao, stop drawing on the walls and come help me with lunch. Okay. <sighs> So about... about... Haha, <laughs> Jinx. Oh. My. God. He's annoying. God, I hate myself. No wonder I have no friends. Look at this moron. What were you saying? Uh, you go first. Actually, no. Let me guess. You wanted to ask about the deal I made. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Of course I'd know. I was going to ask you the same. But I bet you... No. I bet I knew that already? <laughs> Isn't that a bizarre sentence? Uh, well... Let's all... Uh, let's agree. Yeah, it's... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I can't decide how to relate to you. As in, should I keep calling you me, or you? You seem to be using you, so I guess that's that. You're using you too. Yup. Yup, yup. Kind of an awkward conversation here. Great. I'm so socially awkward, I can't even keep up a conversation with myself. <laughs> It looks like I didn't gain any social skills despite losing the anxiety. Oh. So then, uh... How is it, being happy? It's pretty great. I still remember all the bad things, but they feel so long ago. I had forgotten that breathing could be so easy. I don't know how else to describe it. I just feel... Hmm... Well... Happy? Yeah. Well, I feel like my chest is a black hole. And the only thing keeping me from collapsing into myself is the barbed wire tearing me apart. Jesus. Could I be more melodramatic? Um, so hey. Maybe we shouldn't talk. You're kind of bumming me out. Huh? What the hell? You're blowing me off? 
Aren't you the one person supposed to care for me? Well, I mean, you say that. But when did I ever care for myself? Okay, you got me there. But hey, look at the bright side. I can finally reach the suck myself. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I guess you can do that. Hmm, not interested? Or maybe later. I'm out of here. But we didn't pay yet? You take care of that. Since you're the only beneficiary here. This is some bullshit. Why'd I have to get the negative stuff? And I'm supposed to pay for this? This is so... While digging through his pockets, a terrifying realization hits you. Wh where are my keys? And my phone? And my wallet? Come to think of it, what on earth am I wearing? Looks like something Jerkface would wear. Great. How do I get home now? Because I'm not going back to the other me. <sighs> I don't have any friends that I could go to. Nor do I have any relatives around here. Not that I would go for them either. They're just a bunch of strangers with the same last name. Ugh. <sighs> I can't just stand here for God knows how long. People are staring. Oh God, people are staring. I look stupid. I bet everyone in the world is going to take notice of me standing here and think I'm stupid. Uh, I need to go somewhere. But I don't have any money, so I can't even go to a store. Because God forbid I exit one without buying anything. Well, I guess I left Miss Mage's shop without buying anything. Back to Miss Mage. Welcome. Oh. It's you again. H Hi. What brings you here this time? Well, um. Theo explains what happened. So. You did exactly what I told you not to do. And it went exactly like I said it would. Mm hmm. Look, I just want to call my landlord, so she'll let me in my apartment. And after the call, I'm probably going to have a panic attack, so I'm sorry in advance. Help yourself, I guess. Miss Page points to you to the phone. It's a rotary dial one. Is she messing with me? Go ahead. Um, isn't this a movie prop? Huh? How do you use this? <laughs> I'll do it. What's the number? I don't know. It's on my phone. Yeah. At that point, Miss Mage is done helping for you and goes back to stocking the shelves. Good luck charms and dream catchers are both 10% off. Looks like you'll just have to wait. I'm sure your other self goes home eventually. Well, since I'm here... Can you help me undo this spell? I'll pay you once I get my wallet back. Sorry, I don't know anything about band magic. You need to ask the jerk face. He already said no. I don't know what else to do. Uh-huh. Tough. A little compassion, please. My life just turned upside down. I'm working. Who are you, anyway? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh... I'm so sorry for bothering you. Thank you for your time and goodbye. That's what Theo wanted to say, but was too thrown off to form the sentence. I... I'm... M my name is Theo. Nailed it. Had a nice voice crack and everything. All right, Theo. My name is Vivian. And here's what I think. As far as Lua goes, you get off easy. I'd count my blessings and attempt to make the best of what you have left. But, but... But it's not, it's... It's unfair. I just... Why? I just wanted to be happy. 
Theo continues embarrassing himself by starting to cry in public. Vivian pours him some tea. She seems awfully used to this kind of thing. Perhaps her shop attracts mostly broken people. You'd have to be pretty desperate to rely on a mage after all. Here, have a drink. <sighs> Thanks. Feel free to come talk to me whenever. Really? But why? Well, you don't have to. It's just... Wait, could this mean... After all this time, have I made a friend? It's just that I've never seen this spell in person. Uh-huh. It's so fascinating. I'd love to hear all about it. Oh, yeah. Sure. Never mind. Meanwhile, the other Theu is still loitering around at Lua's place. Could to join us for lunch? Really? Can I? Yes. Free of charge. Huh. There's just one of you. Where's the other one? Speaking of payments, how can I repay you? Like I said, I'm undecided. In front of the you is a bowl of soup. And in the soup floats mysterious bits and pieces. He recognizes the carrots and potatoes. Everything else is a mystery. What on earth am I eating? Let's just say I'll let you know when I need a favor. But that aside, where's the other for you? I'd like to get this payment stuff settled now, though. And I'd like to know where the other you went. Oh, oh, sorry, the other me. Theo's eyes catch a curious sight. On top of the spice shelf sits a human skull. Wait, is that real? He would not put it past Lua at this point. I don't know, Theo. Is anything real? Can we please keep on the subject? Where the hell did you put the other you? Huh? Nowhere. He went home already. You just let him walk off. I... Was I not supposed to? God. I must have given all your intelligence to the sad one. Hey! As I recall, you wanted to get rid of your negative feelings. Not let them run around town by themselves. That is to say, the job is still half done. Oh. Bring him back here, and I'll help you dispose of the body with no extra cost. I don't think that's necessary. Are you sure? I've split it, but you still have the same soul. There's no guarantee he won't pull you back under with him. I... Something hits the back of Theo's head. And then it continues bouncing off the tables and walls, as if its mission is to wreck as much havoc as possible. We back at the bouncy ball. It takes a moment for Theo to understand it's a bouncy ball. <laughs> sorry. That's my bouncy ball. Like it? God damn it, Tal. I thought I threw that thing in the trash already. <laughs> it's a new one. I should get going. Hmm. Something amiss. Looks like other me took our shoes. You can borrow mine. Lua opens a closet. It is full of mismatched shoes. What? Do you have a single matching pair? Ah, that. A certain someone cursed me to lose my other shoe until I pay her a hundred bucks. Cute, right? Oh yeah, gradual foot damage in the epitome of cuteness. Oh yeah, gradual foot damage is the epitome of cuteness. Anyway, I'll drop by again. I'm sure you will. And do think about what I said. The body disposal offer is part of our deal. Okay, bye. I didn't th know that this guy was going to offer to commit murder, but okay. Theo walks home barefoot. Small rocks keep stabbing the bottom of his feet. His socks wear down quickly, and the ground is muddy and nasty. Any other day, this would have dampened his mood to the point of considering suicide. 
but not today. Today is a mighty fine day, and he just can't be bothered with the little things. Like shards of glass. Who cares? Damn. That deal with the devil was a great one. Once he reaches his apartment, a huge piece of trash is blocking the door. Oh ho, what do we have here? It's the other Theo. You have the keys. Oh right, and you've been locked out this whole time. <laughs> I don't know what's so funny about that. Oh, I'm sorry. You left so suddenly I didn't even think to give you the keys. I mean, since they're my keys, obviously it makes sense I'd hold on to them, you know? Whatever, just open the door. Happier for you unlocks the door. Whoa. Man, I forgot what a garbage dump this place was. That's it, we're cleaning this place up. You take care of the dishes and I'll... Sadder for you goes straight to bed. Ah. Come on, there's two of us, it'll be a breeze. No. Come on, I need house will improve your mood. Fuck off. Theo resolves to doing the dishes himself. Man, that's my problem. At least pretend to help. He pours some dish soap and pulls up his sleeves. Oof. Right. I do clap like this. The words of a certain jerk resurface in Theo's mind. There's no guarantee he won't pull you back under with him. As I recall, you wanted to get rid of your f negative feelings. Yeah, that was the whole point, wasn't it? Theo washes a knife. It has gone unwashed for months. The dirt and the blade have formed an unholy union, never to be separated again. God, look at that useless hunk of shit moping around in bed. You're gonna lay there for days eating nothing but pizza and watching cartoons, aren't you? Indeed, that was Theo's plan, much to Theo's dismay. Theo walks over to Theo, and though Theo hears Theo coming, Theo won't move. This is getting confusing, isn't it? Well, anyway, one Theo stands next to the bed, while the other pretends to sleep. Hey, me? I was thinking that if you're not going to help me clean, you could at least kill yourself. Goddamn. Come again? Well, I mean, that was the plan, right? Getting rid of my negativity? And if you're not even going to suck my dick, why should I keep you around? Oh my god. Are you threatening me right now? I'm just saying we're kind of half-assing the deal. Just, I... What can I even say to that? There is some reason why we're not pushing up the daisies yet, right? Yeah. Mom's gonna be sad. Even though she only calls once a year. But still. Yeah. But it's okay now. Because even if you give up the ghost, I'm still here. She won't even notice you're gone. So how about it? Time to rest in peace. What? No? No? What do you mean? No. As in no way that's happening. Ugh. Now you're just contradicting yourself. You want this. No, I don't. I'd want to not want it. So you do want it. Ugh. No. And you know how it is. Don't raise your voice at me. The neighbors are going to think I'm screaming here alone. I am screaming here alone. Oh, I'll fucking make you scream, all right. Theo grabs that nasty, unwashable knife and attempts to ram it into the other Theo. This doesn't go quite as smoothly as he had hoped. Stop! Stop! Get off me! Kicking and screaming ensues. The Theos are having a battle to the death until someone knocks on the door. Go get it. Me? Yeah, you. I'm bleeding. That's entirely your own fault, but okay. It's probably the lady from upstairs again. The less wounded Theo opens the door and is greeted with the utmost wrath of the neighbor woman. Uh, yeah? Do you have 
any idea how loud you're being. Sorry, I was just... Just getting killed. Sorry about that, ma'am. Just, I mean, I'll keep it down. Could you be any less considerate? I work night shifts, you know. How would you feel if I started making a ruckus in the middle of the night? I mean, the guy downstairs argues with his wife every night, so... What do I care? Stop making so much noise or I'm going to file a noise complaint. Okay, sorry. I can't believe this even needs to be said. I'm a nurse. What will you do if I'm sleep deprived tonight and someone dies because of that? How will you live with yourself then? How to live with myself indeed. Do you have any idea how hard my job is? The last thing I need is... While the sadder half is attempting to come up with something diplomatic to say, other half closes the door. The silence that follows is so thick that it could be cut with the dirty knife Theo was trying to stab the other with. Half of Theo expects the woman to come kicking through the door. Other half expects her to leave to get that sleep she so desperately claims to need. Instead, the lady starts banging the door so furiously you'd think there is a prize for it. Either Theo opens the door, and eventually she gives up. This better not happen again. The woman feels satisfied thinking she had the final say, and leaves. Well, there she goes. Just how the hell is her job my problem? Exactly. Can't she invest in some earplugs or something? Right. Why is she tearing into me and not the others? Like that guy playing the guitar right now? Go yell at him. I don't know. Maybe the guitar guy yells back or something. I'll yell back too next time. Tell her if she rings my doorbell one more time, I'll rip the damn thing off and shove it up her ass. <laughs> no, I can't say that. She'll just get angrier. Let's just not open the door anymore. Yeah, to anybody. But the mailman. Yeah. Yeah. So, wanna order pizza? I don't know. Are we going to open the door for the delivery guy? <laughs> yes, him and the mailman. Are you going to slice me with the pizza cutter? Mm, now that is the question. No, I won't. Ah, unless you want me to. No! Isn't that obvious by now? <laughs> Unbeknownst to Theo, another door is being abused by an unwanted visitor. Welcome. What can I... Hello, Vivian. I take it back. You're unwelcome. Please leave. Your business looks as slow as ever. What do you want? Tao browses around casually as if Vivian wasn't giving her the death glare. Nice glass charms. By the way, have you seen my new bouncy ball? Watch this. You're paying for anything you break. Tao puts the bouncy ball back into her pocket. So, uh, hey, what's up? Nice weather we're having lately and all that. The door is right behind you. Such cold reception. Can't I just come have a chat with my old friend? But that's not what you're here for, is it? Well, not anymore, after receiving this kind of treatment. The door, Tao. Use it. I was just trying to be nice. It'd be nice if you got out of my shop right now. And tell Lua that if he wants to keep tabs on me, he can come do it himself. With this, Vivian pushes Tal out the door. Oh, so Lua's welcome him, I'm not? I did not say that. Vivian slams the door shut. Fine, be that way. Tal gives the door a couple of kicks. I hope your shop burns down with you still in it. She yells a few more death wishes, but gets ignored. Tao finally decides to leave, after she throws her bouncy ball at the door, and it bounces back to hit her in the face. Ah, uh, who cares about you anyway? Tao returns home. You're back sooner than expected. Vivian didn't feel like hanging out. Is that so? 
That is so. And she said you can go stalk her yourself next time. Stalk her? I do not stalk her. I'm merely interested from a business point of view. Okay. Well, the store had no one in it when I was there, so... Figures. Was she working on anything interesting? I told you she didn't exactly want to chat. I don't understand why she's being so difficult. Yeah, me neither. What's her problem? Probably the fact that she's a talentless hack whose business is sinking by the minutes. Yeah, whatever. Exactly, who cares? By the time I finish my magnum opus, she'll be begging to get in on it. And I'm begging not to hear another word about it. Fine, I'm busy anyway. Wanna help me out? <laughs> Dream on. I just like my organs still intact. Meanwhile, Theo's collective existence wastes away watching cartoons and eating pizza. The laptop screen shines light into the darkness. Oh look, the heroes of the cartoon. They have a new member to their superhero team, Captain Backstab. He's evil. I bet he's evil. Oh my god. It's been seven episodes. How could you betray us, Captain Backstab? How the hell are they even surprised? Oh, come on. How the hell are they even surprised? But wait. It wasn't Captain Backstab after all. He was being framed all along. Bullshit. That's some bullshit. What? You keep giving me the evil eye. You keep parroting my thoughts, and it's annoying. Oh? <laughs> I had no idea. Well, I guess it makes perfect sense, given... But you know, that makes sense, given we're the same person. Ugh, stop. Just stop talking. Oh, again? <laughs> anyway, this begs the question. Why aren't we screwing yet? I didn't know Theo was so horny. You tried to kill me, you asshole. Yeah, that's a pretty good reason. Ha! <laughs> like I ain't ever tried to kill myself before. More importantly, why don't you want to have sex? Priorities. We jack off almost every day. I don't know. I just don't feel like it. So you're not opposed to it. I don't really feel like anything anymore. It's kind of like, I don't know, I'm depressed or something. Alright, fine. Though, if you're supposed to have all my negativity, how was I so upset with you earlier? I mean, I'm over it now, but how did it get so bad? How should I know? Jerkface did a crappy job with the spell, I guess. But that's great, isn't it? If I can still be distressed, you can still be happy. You just need to learn to love yourself. And by love, I mean... Oh my god, go fuck yourself. I'm trying. Bitch won't put out. Ugh. Anyway. What are we going to do? Like, we only have one ID and such. What if we both need to go to the hospital? Or if one of us gets declared dead? What then? Oh, right. That is a problem. These are the kind of thoughts that you should have perhaps considered before he rushed headfirst into this mess. I think we should merge back together. I'm sure if we pass our joke face enough, he'll undo the spell. Pass. Pass? What do you mean, pass? We shouldn't have split in the first place. Yeah, I'm not going back to that headspace of yours. Mine, it's ours. You can't just cherry pick the good parts and loggy gag along. That's not what you said yesterday. Well, well, yesterday's me was an idiot. You, on the other hand, are just selfish. Okay. How about we drop this subject here for now? Let's sleep on it. Maybe a solution comes in a dream. I guess. The Thieves get some shut-eye. Or at least one of them does. 
the other is busy mulling over every bad experience he has ever had. But unsurprisingly, no solutions reveal themselves that night. The next morning, the happier half gets up nice and early. And by the time the other half starts waking up, happy half is getting ready to rush out the door. Huh? Where are you going? I'm going to see Lua. If you don't want to merge back, then why? I hate that guy. What? No. Why would I hate the guy who made me this happy? Because he made me this miserable. You were miserable the day you were born. I was not. Well, I'm going anyway. See you later. And off he goes. Look who's back already. Hello, hello. I suppose you can come in. So, to what did I owe this displeasure? Did you come up with a way I can repay you yet? I did, actually. But you wouldn't agree to it. Try me. No, no. It's awful, really. I just know you wouldn't have the guts for it. No, what is it? I'll do it. Wonderful, it's a deal. You are now my new potion tester. Uh, wait. Ah, this is great. I've been really struggling ever since the last one... Hmm, moved on, let's say. So... What kind of potions do you make? You'll see soon enough. Now, since you're already here and oh so willing, let's get right to it. Help me grind up these berries. Hold up. I thought I was a tester, not an assistant. Well, you're certainly testing my patience right now. Oh, I mean, fine, I guess. Say, how's it going with the other you? I can't help but notice you are nearly as chipper as yesterday. It's fine. Ah, wait, stop. Wash the mortar before you grind the other herbs. Oh, sorry. What were you saying? No, actually, forget that. I don't care about your domestic life. Just tell me what you will do with the other Theo. Oh, well... I'm not sure yet, but maybe... Well, these seem like some important decisions. We can go for the kill. Right. I might be better off without my other half. That's what I've been trying to tell you. But he has, like, half my life force or something, right? Correct. So if I kill him off, I can't get it back, can I? No, you cannot. But you're not going to get it back by having him around, either. Well, yeah, but I can get it if we merge back someday, right? I suppose you'd get what's left of it, yes. But you'd also get back all your depression. Actually, about that. I thought you gave the other me all of my unhappiness. But you didn't, right? No, I did. All you had at that point in time. But there is nothing stopping you from accumulating new unhappiness. Especially with someone as gloomy as the other you around. Misery loves company, or so I've heard. And what miserable company you are. To yourself, that is. <laughs> Can we drop this subject? Honestly, just kill the bastard. I really need some fresh ingredients. What? What? Wait, what? What are we making? Oh, this. This is the cure for aging. It's a work in progress, but I think I've gotten the ingredients down. Sadly, they're all deadly poison. I'm trying to come up with a non-lethal formula. And that's where you come in, my dear tester. Say, ah. Uh... Oh man, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Meanwhile, I'm back at home. Man, I want to die. I'm so bored. When is the other me coming home? I was kind of hoping we could hang out. I could finally play all those local co-op games I've always wanted to try. Or I could go eat at those restaurants I'm too anxious to go to alone. Or even just, I don't know, anything. Tch, screw you, other me. 
He knows how lonely I am, but left anyway. I get it, though. I'll leave me behind, too, if I could. I'm so pathetic. God, I'm so pathetic! Once these pity party starts, it can last four hours on end. This one is no exception. Once the sun has already set, other Thew makes his way back home. Ugh, I'm home. Oh my god, I'm gonna hurl. Huh? Oh, why is it so dark in here? Hey, me, are you home? Oh. Theo witnesses his other self sitting catatonic on the kitchen floor. Oh, great. Um, hey there, what you up to? The more miserable Theo doesn't even bother to lift his gaze to look at the other. Oh, come on. I'm way too nauseous to deal with my bullshit right now. <sighs> what did I use to want when I got like this? Death is what I would say, but uh, I'm such a little drama queen. Let's be kind. I know you don't really care, but Lou is going to be pissed once he finds out you got blood all over his shirt. Come on, up, up. We can still salvage it. Happier Thew drags sadder Thew to the bathroom where he proceeds to try to wash the shirt. Uh, or maybe not. It's all dried up already. Just how long were you sitting there? Hmm, half an hour? Two hours? Your ass must be so sore. Nothing, huh? Well, I'm going to list some things that you like. You're bound to want to live after you remember all this. Ugh, I don't want to hear it. Chips and soda. Ice cream, cinnamon rolls, and ice cream on cinnamon rolls. French toast, lemon cheesecake, pizza, fries, and chocolate. Lasagna, and those, what were they? Those little almond cookie things. What, macaroons? Yes, macaroons! You're just listing food. Okay, fine. Watching porn is pretty exciting too. Just stab me already. Just like yesterday. You wanted to, right? Yes, about time. But oh no, what's this? My free stabbing offer has expired. Too bad. Why would it expire? I'm still stupid and ugly and nobody likes me. I deserve a hammer to the head. Wow, thanks. Thanks? Yeah, keep on insulting me. No biggie. Obviously, I'm not talking about you. Really? Explain that to me. Don't play dumb. I mean, me and you know it. And who do you think I am? I don't know, something better. What? Theo starts unceremoniously puking into the toilet bowl. Ugh, oh my god. Sorry, I've been eating poison all day. What kind of idiot does stupid stuff like that? <laughs> oh, look who's talking. Yeah, I'm looking at him alright. It's just that Lua made me his poison tester. And you agreed to that because... I really don't want to owe a guy like that any favors, so I'm just getting it over with. Oh no. Guess I really am stupid. <laughs> oh god. There's nothing left anymore. It's just stomach acid now. It hurts. Well... I think you managed to salvage the shirt. Oh, good. And don't mess it up again. As they lay down to sleep, Satterthew thinks to himself, Actually, isn't this kind of like a sleepover? Maybe we should get snacks and watch a scary movie or something. Well, it's kind of late now. 
Maybe tomorrow. We can get chips and soda. And maybe ice cream. Heh. <laughs> if it's like this, then maybe staying separate is alright. Happy Earth You, on the other hand, thinks about something entirely different. Oh, really? Ugh, this is exhausting. What's the point of separating all that junk from myself if I'm the one who has to deal with it anyway? Oh, I thought he was talking about sex. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess it's easier to manage when I'm not the one actively having a meltdown. But still, this crap cost me half my life. If only the other me was a little more stable. I wouldn't mind merging back. And that's how the night went. Legend says that if the first face you see in the morning belongs to Lua, your day is gonna suck. This legend originates from Vivian's shop. The very shop Lua is currently entering. Hello? Nothing? Let me try again. Lua exits and re-enters the store. Behold! I have come to grace your humble shop with my amazing presence. Go away. And I miss you too, Vivian. I can't believe you turned Tal away the other day. Weren't you best friends or something? Go away. Go away, go away. Is that all you have to say? Go away. Go away. What else? Fine. What do you want? Must I always want something to visit you? I don't know. Must you? Yes. I want to talk. Fine. Say what you have to say, and then leave. Vivian, sometimes this attitude, I swear. Well? Well, seeing as you're not one for pleasantries, I'll cut to the chase. I've resumed working on our project. Why? And it is going well. So well, in fact, that I've chosen to put aside our petty squabbles. Petty squabbles? Is that how you see it? Please, can we not start about that again? I can't believe you. What happened to... You're awfully talkative for someone supposedly giving me the silent treatment. Just get out of my store. No, no, I'm sorry, honestly. I didn't mean to call it a petty squabble. I meant... Hmm. Well, I guess I meant to call it whatever you wanted me to call it. Just leave. Vivian, I'm giving you a very generous offer right now. I suggest you don't waste my kindness. I also consider me keeping quiet about your business really generous. So I suggest you stop bothering me. And I consider your silence a given, considering how deeply involved you are in my business. I'm not going to start this pissing match with you. And I'm not interested in working with you again. So thank you for the offer, but keep the credit. I'll let you think about it. No need. Please leave. I'll let you anyway. Goodbye for now. I really wish you'd drop by sometimes. And you misspelled incantations on your window ad. There's no S in the middle. Ah, uh, just go! Feeling like the smug bastard he is, Lua exits the shop. Meanwhile, Theo is musing about his depression. I think loneliness and lack of future are the main causes of my misery. But obviously, I'm going to be lonely with such a shit personality and no social skills. Maybe if Dad didn't kick my ass every time I opened my mouth, I would have learned to hold a conversation. And then there's also my awful diet and lack of exercise. If I could get some of that crap under control, we could merge back and I could take it from there. Lewis said our life force got split too. So if we stay like this, I'll die in my 40s. And that's a generous estimate given my lifestyle so far. He watches his other self play video games. I don't think the other me has it in him to fix anything, though. If I leave him to his own devices, I can go live a nice short life somewhere. <sighs> hey, me? Huh? Yeah? What you playing? You have eyes, don't you? I'm trying to make conversations, stupid. 
Uh, okay. But weren't we stuck in that one? Yeah. That's why I'm grinding levels. I'm almost at 75. Stop wasting my life, stupid. Um, hey, can you pause it for a bit? Let's chat. Go ahead, I'm listening. Theo is too busy crafting equipment to lift his gaze from the screen. Okay, forget this. Just letting you know I'm going over to Lewis again. Now the game gets paused. Uh, again? Why? Like I said yesterday, I'm... How long do you have to do the poison thing? Yeah, fucking talk over me, why not? Me? I don't know. It's up to Lua. Lua, Lua, Lua. I'm getting sick of the name. Yeah? I'm getting sick of a lot of things, too. Huh? Ah, uh, sorry, that came out wrong. Poison! Ah, uh, that's what I meant. I'm getting sick off poison, <laughs> but I'm... Tsh Oh, right. Well, um, I don't know what to say. Me neither. Then go back to your video game, don't slit your wrists, and I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Uh, yeah, bye. That was. He was smiling, right? As Theo ponders on that, he spots Lua. Oh. It's weird seeing you out and about. We're not all homebodies like you. Well, I was just about to come over. Pretty shitty of you to keep dropping by unannounced. I thought we were working on something, though. But if it was a one-time thing, hey, no complaints. Don't be ridiculous. Not all poison kills you immediately. I should give you at least a week to see if you drop dead or not. And should your existence continue, then I want to try another batch on you. Oh, okay. So... See you in a week then? I thought you are coming over. Oh my god, make up your mind. Well? I'll pass. You seem busy. Like I'll let you jerk me around like this. You said you're coming over, so over you'll come. Then why'd you even ask? Are you having a bad day or something? Whatever gave you that impression? I don't think I did anything to warrant this kind of treatment. Pray tell, what kind of treatment do you think you deserve exactly? Uh, well... Sheesh, she said no, huh? Yes, as a matter of fact, she did. But that's got nothing to do with anything. Yeah, yeah, of course not. Just throwing a hissy fit for fun. Yes, it's delightful. Now piss off, the both of you. Wh huh? You made me walk all the way here for nothing? Tough, isn't it? <laughs> what a sourpuss, right? What crawled up his ass? Uh, it's just Vivian. Don't worry about it. Who's Vivian? Um, okay. Anyway, you seem to be doing fine. How's life after being split in half? Let's just say it has its challenges. <laughs> I bet. If I got split in half, I'd probably become an assassin. Because I could make myself seen, while the other me does the killing. So I'd have the perfect alibi every time. <laughs> right, right, of course. Why not just do that then? Are you kidding me? That would cost me half my life. Only an idiot would make that trade. <laughs> Anyway, guess what? I spent the last few days washing a wall. It turns out permanent marker doesn't come off that easy. Who'd have thought? <laughs> You're talking about when we drew on the wall together? Wait, I drew with you? Yeah, right after I got split. We tried drawing cats with our eyes closed. That was you? Yeah? Weird. I could have sworn I was drawing with the happy half. I am the happy half. Uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> it's just you look so alike. <laughs> yeah. Don't mind me, and don't mind Lua either. He'll brood for a bit, and then he'll act like none of this ever happened. So don't worry about it. You can go home or something. 
All right, I'll see you around then. Yep, see you later. Do I look that down? That's bad. Ah, uh, it's fine, it's fine. It's just that I'm still kind of weak from yesterday, that's all. For now, let's just focus on making the other me a little less miserable. Food. We'll cheer up with some food. Now, what should I get for me and myself? Sweets and treats. That's right. I deserve it after everything that has happened. Jesus, what a mess I'm in. Of course I look a little down today. And other me, well... His life sucks so bad in general, I should buy him a whole bag of candy. Yeah. Maybe he'll even smile for me again. And so... Theo goes to do some shopping. And also... I'm going to say that's where I'm going to end this for now, because that is all the time I have for it tonight. So far, I'm enjoying this game, so I'm definitely going to be hopping back into it very soon. If you enjoyed this, then go ahead and give this video a like, subscribe, share the video, leave a comment so we can talk about it. And until next time, this is the Lion of Legend. Y'all have a great night.